New to the IPO market this week is BioAmber. This is a green energy company. They take a feedstock, turn it into a petroleum substitute. So Francis, we haven't seen a, a, any green technology lately. This one is hoping to raise $128 million. Is the market ready for more green technology right now? Well, I wouldn't chase after it. It had sales last year of 15 million and lost 39 million. And uh, as you said, what it takes is renewable feedstocks and turns it into a petroleum derivative. But if you if you look at the sector, which includes Amaris, Jivo, um, Solazheim, and Kiar, which have all come public in the last two, two and a half years, uh, they came public with great fanfare. Some of them had sales uh, and they're down substantially, probably on the average of 60%. So the market, like, Historically, the market has liked these companies um, initially, uh, but they always have a problem following through in terms of sales and profits. Um, this one's coming at, at, if you look at the price to book values of, of that category, second to the uh, lowest price to book, which is good. Um, I just I just would, you know, I believe it when I see it. None, nobody in that category has, has, has really uh, uh, continued to make a profit, make sales and make a profit. This may be different. Uh, if it is, I just fine, I'll just wait and see. Of course, they're all dependent on their feedstocks. This one is going to be dependent on corn, and the price of corn has been pretty high, so that might hurt it as well. Then we have Insys Therapeutics. They are hoping to raise $68 million. We've seen a lot of these uh, drug companies that are coming out. This one wants to reduce chemo and cancer pain. They lost $24 million last year, but they expect to turn a profit in uh, March of 2013. Right. Is it worth uh, taking a chance on? They say they're going to start to make a profit. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of uh, in the category of a weak buy on that one. <laughs> it's a generic drug company. Uh, they have a synthetic marijuana uh, product that they put out. Um, they have 60 people in the U.S. selling their two products. And uh, their, uh, their, 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 their main product that uh, reduces pain for cancer patients uh, is uh, it was the number two prescribed product in its category recently. So it's really hit it with a bang. Um, it's a weak buy because it's gone from a huge loss and now it expects to make $750,000 profit in the March quarter. And they'll probably continue, they will continue to increase sales and profits. But the question is, um, what's a generic drug company worth, you know, on the market? Um, there's an awful lot of competition. So I think this one, uh, this one will probably come and not trade very well. But if, if they show a good March quarter and a good June quarter, the analysts might get back and might get behind it and, and the price may go up. So as I said, I'm kind of interested, but not strongly interested. All right. Well, and also, of course, legislation is changing with regards to cannabis and its legalization. So that market may uh, be ahead of the pharmaceutical market. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So those are your two IPOs to take a look at this week. You can uh, take a look at Insys Therapeutics. Looks like it could have some promising news there. BioAmber, you might want to take a pause on that one.